Welcome back everybody to another update showcase Saturday. I am Mr. Spicy and today we're going to take a look at the newest update for Subnautica, the Cuttlefish update. Now before you get confused that is not Cuttlefish spelled with two T's like squid. That's Cuttlefish spelled with two D's like hey uh, I had a bad day will you give me a cuddle? So we have a new update called the Cuttlefish update and it would make sense that that refers to some kind of special new fish we've got. And that's exactly what we have. Uh, this may not be the update we wanted. May not exactly be the update we needed, but we're going to run with it anyway. So first off, we have a new fish called the Cuttlefish, which you can pick up by finding one of the eggs that are scattered throughout some various biomes that include the Lost River Laboratory area, the Deep Grand Reef Degasi Base, and the Mushroom Forest Caves. Now I am here at the Deep Grand Reef Degazi base and I'm going to show you exactly where it is and what it looks like. Okay, so when you reach the base, you're going to go in through the open hatch at the top of the vertical column of multi-purpose rooms and in the second floor level, there will be a little egg. Hi, Mr. Creature Egg. Look at you. Look, look at him. He's got a smile already. He's not even born and this Notably, it's the only egg we can actually see through the membrane at the embryo inside. And he is smiling at us. So we're going to pick him up and we're going to go hatch him now. Okay, so once you have your egg, you're still going to need an alien containment to hatch the creature in. So we're going to pop this little guy in here. And I've already got fast hatch turned on so you can actually see what happens as he tries to break free from his egg. And here he goes, he's wiggling his way out. Look, you see tiny little thing, you know, pods on him. And then he pops out and he's fully grown, ready to go. Now you can leave him in the containment or you could do something with him that's different from some of the other fish. You pick him up, you take him out of the containment and take him outside. At which point then you drop him and now he's going to follow you around. He is going to be your own little loyal puppy dog fish. And you can do a few things with him. For one, you can play with him. And he's got multiple animations uh, like that one. He can sit there and tease him a little bit with a snack. Throw it to him. He'll do all sorts of animations, including giving you five. And you can tickle him, do that. Now, you notice when I have him lined up I can right click and he'll tell him to stop following me in which case what he'll do is he'll stay swimming around this small area here or he can follow me wherever I may go okay now what kind of update would this be if all we got was a cute looking fish to follow us around and make us feel less lonely on this isolated planet well the answer is not much but that's why we don't have just the fish we also have HUD improvements to the Seamoth, the Prawn, and the uh, Scanner Room cameras. So you can see here, I have the Seamoth, and you can see how it's got the health, the power, and the temperature now looking a little differently in the bottom right. Okay, now I am here in the Prawn suit, and you can see it has a similar but slightly different layout to the heads up display in the bottom right. I still have my temperature, my power, and of course my health, but then I have the extra icon at the bottom for the jetpack uh, boosters as far as how much fuel they have. And as I said, the cameras for the scanner rooms also now have improvements to their heads up displays. And apparently my buddy here, I'm going to call you Giuseppe. He will follow my camera around too. Since I guess it treats it as being the player entity because you are controlling it at the moment. So yeah, it looks like he's going to follow my camera around even though I am not here. Okay, it's not much of an update, but that's all we've got from this one. It's really kind of disappointing that we didn't get something more, especially something to do with like the, the rocket launch platform. But there's one thing I've learned from games like this, that when you get a small update like this, that usually means the next update is going to be a big one. So here is hoping that the next update they release will have the final pieces for the storyline and we can get off this planet. All right, well, that's it for today's update showcase Saturday video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. 
Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell if you haven't done so already because I am posting six days a week and that's the best way to keep up with everything. But you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to keep up with it that way. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this update. Do you like the cuttlefish? Do you think he's cute enough? Or do you think, like I think, they should have given us a little more than just a little piece of calamari to look at? Again, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Mr. Spicy. I will see you in the next video.